hey, come on in. Come on in to my hotel suite. Yeah, this is really exciting, guys. I need to tell you all about what is happening and what is going on. So we've just arrived at the Kimpton Hotel, Kimpton Fitzroy. Um, it's <laughs> 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 Who's this man? You've yeah. not told me about this. <laughs> this is... <laughs> You'd come out wearing a robe then. <laughs> I know, I'm not going to say I like ginger. Body double. Oh, body double. I love that one. Took a joke way too far. Yeah, come, come on in and we'll sit and we'll, and we'll chat. We'll chat. I'll sit here. So we just got to Kimpton Fitzroy Hotel in London. You guys might be, you guys might remember a couple of weeks ago I stayed here and I was raving about how obsessed I was with the room, the interiors and everything else. Anyway, I am so excited to say that I'm actually working with IHG Hotels and Resorts, specifically here at the Kimpton Fitzroy, because they've just launched their new campaign, Guest How You Guest. I mean, this could not be a more perfect project for me to work on with how much we travel and how much we're in different hotel suites everywhere. It's always those little touches in the rooms that we remember. But when we've been to hotels and there's been like custom snacks or pictures of us or just those little gorgeous finishing touches. So, oh look, he's already like getting himself at home. He is loving it. Oh, that's another thing. The Kimpton Fitzroy lets, <laughs> allows dogs. So, I mean, it, this is perfect for us. He has his own little bed. I'll show you that in a minute. Part of the Guest As You Guest project, I have had the honor of curating my own hotel suite. I mean, how cool is that? So I've been able to add like my own personal touches into this suite. And then you guys are able to book it as a full Victoria McGrath package. So let me show you everything in the room, okay? Come on, come on. This is so ultra professional for us, babe. But yeah, we just finished doing some filming, so we've still got some lights up, which helps with the low lights. So here are some of my goodies. We have like healthy treats and snacks, all of like my favorite little- Healthy? Somewhat healthy. Delicious, delicious snacks in here because we really like to have our date night, movie nights. I have my own little popcorn machine. The hotel will bring up some kernels for you and then you can pop your own popcorn for date night, movie night. Such a cute little feature. And then with everything in the room as well, that's like this curated personal moment. So everything has its own note card next to it, just to give a bit of context and why I love it, why it's here. So that's that. Then we've got games and cards, no spoons, unfortunately. We can always get the spoons out of this out of the crockery drawer. Plus as well, I love this. This is the sip and shop itinerary. So on here I've put together like my favorite cafes, my favorite coffee shops, eateries, restaurants, shops, places to go shopping. And it's all on here. If someone is out of London, doesn't know anywhere in the area, it's all on here. You definitely got a fingerprint on that lens, you know. You also get a free assistant and manager if you come along. So that's good. They're, they're part of the package. They're not very good though. But, <coughs> um, they come free, so they're fine. <laughs> Savage. Oh wait, no, I nearly missed this. This is a, this is so cool. So little bar cart with cocktails. It's got a few of my favourite cocktails here. The staff in the hotel will bring you ice and they'll shake up the cocktails for you. And again, that means you can have like a nice little cocktail on arrival. This is passion fruit martini, which is one of my absolute favourite cocktails. There's also espresso and then there's a gin. So you can just have anything that you like. So it's little, little touches. Gym mat. So if you do want to do like your lunges, or like your squats while you're here in the room, and things like that. Uh, this is really cool, like little yoga mat, and they've got some workout bands, resistance bands. You know, just, just added those little extra touches into the room. These I love. I'm gonna make Bryony carry the, one of these with her every single day. I said that. Did I you? said when I got in here and the team were in here, I went, oh, she's gonna make me wear one of those. <laughs> I literally said it. <laughs> So that's a no then. <laughs> it's a no from me. I always really love it when there's bags in the rooms. If you're just going out nipping somewhere, you want to get a few things with you. Say if you nip into a local supermarket or whatever. It's so good to take like your own bags from the hotels. We always make use of bags like this. So this is just so nice. It's got Victoria branding and the IHG Hotel Resorts branding. So that's such a cool little touch. We also have a steamer because obviously with how much I change my outfits, 
always need a steamer so that's in the room the bedroom is amazing and i remember in the last sweet hours in i was absolutely amazed by the bed and the bedroom and the linens and the it's just so luxurious everything so we've just added a few extra touches like dr Vrange scenting for the room so it just kind of feels a little bit more like home i mean that's kind of very much what this guest as you guessed is all about it is about ihg hotels and resorts regardless of which of the hotels that you go to so i mean they have six thousand hotels 17 different brands the idea is that obviously everyone is different everyone likes to go to hotels and have a different type of experience whether that's relaxing or going out and adventuring or staying in bed all day or whatever so however you like to be a hotel guest IHG Hotels and Resorts will be there to make sure that you get those special touches and features that just make you feel a little bit more special and to enjoy the experience. So scenting, here we have a little Bose speaker, so if you have a bath in this exceptional bath, I mean look at, look at this thumbnail moment, <laughs> um, yeah we have the speaker, you can scan the QR code and it will bring up my special playlist that you can listen to in the bath, all my favourite music. If you like Miley Cyrus, it's on there. Honestly, the team have put this together so amazingly. This is one of the best features ever. A Dyson Supersonic in the room, in the Finca Blue and Rosé colour. So you can kind of experience a Dyson experience while you're here. Branded notebooks. By the way, I wanted something kind of really calming, just that nice little experience moment. So, a bit of pillow spray, L'Occitane pillow spray. And then we have some slip silk eye masks. Oh, of course, dog bed for Bo. Bowls, biscuits. So his experience is just as great as ours. And then through into the bathroom, so I'm not showing that yet. Again, the bathroom, the most beautiful decor and interior. Beautifully lit, it's, it's just immaculate in here. The double sink is wonderful. So this is the Kimpton Corner Suite by Victoria McGrath. I mean, how cool is this? And you can literally book it as like a two night package to stay and you'll get all these gorgeous little extras in the room just so you can kind of experience how I like to guest. So it's amazing and I'm just so thrilled to be working on this project and I'd be so excited to kind of bring you and show you around. So like I was saying before, IHG Hotels and Resorts have 17 brands, six thousand hotels and they're all underpinned by the same loyalty program so it's called the IHG One Rewards Loyalty Program so if you go to any of those six thousand hotels you can collect points redeem points there'll be different perks you can get like late checkout all of those kind of things if you're already a member or if you are wanting to come along and book the Victoria McGrath experience I'll leave all the information in the description box as well Part-time barman as well. I've never done this in my life. You've never worked in a bar before? Never. I'm surprised by that. So what do I do? Just put some ice in? I guess so, yeah. I think they're already pre-mixed. Are you managing? Do I have a cocktail? Oh, yes, please. Okay, no problem. Oh, pardon. That's your back <laughs> I have shook it to perfection. Ooh. Thank you very much. You're bar very bar welcome. Tender butch. Bar bar boo boo. Bar bar boo boo. <laughs> Oh. I mean, it did smell amazing. That's delicious. Should I try a bit? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, shit. There you go, delicious. <laughs> so, we've been filling up the bathtub. Look! So, we've been setting up, we're creating a cool, like, transitional reel around the suite. Last shot, last transition is in the bath with my martini shaken up. And then, yeah, I mean, what else, what else, are, we, what else are we doing? Tell me what to do, director. Get in the bath. <laughs> Get in the bath now. Okay, maybe I can move this up. Do you want to get in the bath, Bubbo? It definitely doesn't. I get in the bath with Mama. There we go. Nice. Last shot. Last shot. ready for dinner all dressed up did you get me in the bath then on camera you didn't did you don't think so oh so we got pitched in the bath in the bathrobe in the bathroom and now we're ready for some dinner so i'm all dressed up my cute little heels bulgari bag butch is coming too 
the greatest accessory. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, so there's a really special like steak and other things, obviously, because I don't eat steak, um, restaurant here called Galvin. And we thought we'd go here to check it out and see what it's like. And the hotel offers a dog sitting service. So someone has come along to get Bo for a little walk and to look after him so we can go for a nice meal. delicious things. The guys are going for a Chateaubriand and beers and I've gone for a crab lasagna. This is such a beautiful restaurant. Really nice ambiance, not too loud, really nice setting, great staff, good bread and butter. Lovely bread, nice and warm. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> So I have this like crab lasagna dish that looks absolutely amazing and then a fig salad, fig and goat's curd salad I think and then you've got Chateaubriand to share We just got Bo back after that fantastic meal now I'm really really full That's the first time we've left Bo not with like someone we know really well but the hotel offered it as a service like a dog sitter someone that can look after your dog for like four hours the perfect amount of time if you're going out for a meal or whatever yes we gave you know bow to to someone and we were like oh but he was the nicest guy the nicest guy we just met him now bow's happy as larry he's just been having a little walk around probably having loads of treats and he was such a lovely guy wasn't he he owns a place called the hound hut which is almost like a dog grooming and daycare kind of centre, isn't it? Apparently they do something called Tiny Tots Tuesdays where they have a little tiny toy breed dogs in. So I need to go along to that. So that's really put our mind at ease now because we've always been a bit like, oh no, we doesn't need a dog sitter. So maybe tomorrow night we could, we could maybe look into having Rob come and look after him again because we're going out to that meal. A new experience for us, we had to let loose a bit, but it's really, really great. Yeah, I'm really pleased that. What a great like service to offer to people staying. Now that we've been out doing that, I wanna make some popcorn <laughs> in the popcorn maker, and then we can kind of cozy up and watch a film before we go to bed. Should we do that? <laughs> Right, so let's go find a film to movie watch. Movie night, let's go find a film. We were going to start watching this film, we're all set up ready, and then I remembered I have not yet filled you guys in on this whole this news that we have. Last time we spoke in the last vlog, I said I just wanted a few more assurances on things before I kind of tell you much more information. At this point, we still don't have complete confirmation on things. So instead, I thought I'd at least tell you the vague gist of what has been going on behind the scenes. Although I feel like I've made this a really, really big deal now. And then everyone's gonna be like, is that it? But still, let me give some background. You guys might remember over a year or so ago, probably 18 months ago, we did a vlog where we we're in the Cotswolds, we we're driving through the Cotswolds and I said, wouldn't it be awesome if we could buy a house in the Cotswolds? and you know do it up all beautiful like a little holiday home and then we could rent it out like airbnb style like rent it out as a beautiful little holiday home destination yeah i mean do you remember that vlog it was when there was all that wisteria on all that the house is amazing the buildings yeah i know which house you're talking about and we were driving through and we were like yeah we don't want to do that and at the time we were on our way to josie and charlie's house and I got chatting with Josie about it. I was like, I, I really want to do this. And she was like, yeah, we've been looking for a house too. Anyway, those guys are super productive and if and efficient. And they ended up buying two fantastic holiday homes. Two now. We've got two now. We've got two now. Two cottages. Wow. Yeah, straw top went, yeah, one. Yeah, straw, straw top's two. incredible though, yeah. isn't it? I mean, Stunning. Those guys with interiors. Yeah. However... I just got too busy with so many other things that I kind of just didn't have the time to focus on it. Then I started thinking, wouldn't it be great if we had a place in Cornwall? Because I love Cornwall That was so a whole much. thing for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I remember looking at places in Cornwall. We are looking at places in Newquay in Cornwall and looking, looking around there. For a holiday but, home. For a holiday home, but... It was the distance. That's the issue. 
the issue is not being able to get somewhere to view houses quick enough before they're off the market and then it was stressing me out I couldn't find the right things the same way in the Cotswolds I could never find the right perfect house I think as well you were just you were in love with the idea with Cornwall so much and started thinking about it it's like we'd actually only go maybe once a year yeah but equally we were going to rent it it was it was meant to be a holiday let and I was like well who would look after it and who would clean it and it was just it's a lot whole, of things to think about wasn't yeah, it? yeah it was a whole thing I just, it didn't have the mental capacity or the physical capacity to deal with so we put Cornwall to rest and then I thought what about London and I've had all these thoughts all these thoughts and ideas and whatnot however we have decided to look for a new home in Manchester yes. because <laughs> as you know it's our home city we're both obsessed with Manchester. We, we both lived there for a long time. Yeah. And I don't think we ever would have left either. No. I, oh, no. I, I, I wouldn't have left. If it wasn't for this job, we wouldn't have left. And I'm not to, not to say that you can't be a blogger in Manchester. You absolutely can. But at the time, all of my opportunities were taking me to London like three days a week, and it was getting too much. So that's why I mean, we. You ended were signed up to an agency in London as well, and you were you were on the train like twice a week, and yeah. you were always coming home like, the signal is terrible. Yeah. It was just, it drove me mad. <laughs> so in the end we moved in 2015 to London, away from Manchester, and we have missed it ever since. Most of my mates now have moved out of Manchester to other places. We still have some really good friends there. Butch, for instance. Yeah, Butch, but, yeah, Butch lives in Manchester. And um, we've got so close with Butch, and obviously now Butch is working with us as well. It just kind of makes sense to have somewhere there that we can call home in a way. So yeah, we have been looking for an apartment in Manchester. We've had someone looking for us. We've a we've been like actively, actually actively looking for somewhere. This isn't just a pipe dream anymore. This is actually happening. We've been, well, I say we, via someone else, we've been viewing loads of different apartments and properties, also working out what we want to buy. Because, you know, Manchester, if you want to live in the city centre, it's next to no houses. It's all apartments and flats. It all depends how old those apartments and flats are, whether the lease is massive or not. A few things that we've had to sort of think about with that. And also, I really wanted to find... Some, but I really wanted to find that sounded funny. Whistle. But I just really wanted to find something with a little bit more character, something that fits our interior style a little bit more. I mean um, the dream would be exposed brick. Yeah, like an exposed brickwork, like New York City apartment vibes is like the dream. Open plan would be great. Open plan. Yeah, but you know, we've been really struggling to find anywhere that really, really works for us. So we've kind of whittled it down and actually have a few choices that we really love at the moment. So it's actually becoming real, it is potentially happening. So we're selling the house, we're going back up north. I mean ideally as well, I mean I'd love to move back to the northern quarter and if you know Manchester then um, then you know what the northern quarter is, um, it's like the kind of the top end of Manchester and it's just, we lived there for like eight, nine years Yeah, I think. Loved it. It's where all like the bars are and the cool cafes. It's just got such a vibe. It's like if you could take. I always think personally, like I'm really biased, but I always feel like Manchester is like if you could take all the best bits of London and just kind of like stick them all Compact together. Them. Yeah. That is that is Manchester, and without any of the headaches, transport and having to get cabs and things, yeah. it's just like I want to be able to hop off the hop off the train and just walk to my apartment yeah. or just walk to a bar or walk to a restaurant and that's what we had like it was so great we'd I'd cycle yeah. to work and it was just pretty much you could always walk from one side of Manchester city centre to the other in like 20-25 minutes you'd have pre-drinks in the northern quarter and then you'd walk to Deansgate yeah like that's just how it was and also like we know every like nook and cranny of that place that's like it we as know well. every little passageway and you know how to get somewhere quickly like we, we just know it like the back of our hand and we miss that and you know as much as we love we love living in the countryside we we do absolutely love it we do miss that city feel and being able to walk out of our door and just go and get an incredible coffee and good breakfast food like on our doorstep i feel like we we had that feeling like when we were going to move to the countryside that it was would we miss it and i think mm. we kind of thought I think for a while we were like, don't miss it, don't miss it yeah, at all. No. I like going into London, I like getting what I can from it, yeah. getting out. Which is still what it is, I love London, it's mm -hmm. great. But I do love coming home, but 
when I get off the train to Manchester, I'm like, yeah. someone's just like, yeah, I do I'm too. home, I, do I know too. where everything is, everyone's yeah. so friendly, it's just, yeah, yeah I just I just miss that friendly vibe, I'm, yeah, I just miss it so much. Me too. So I'm glad we're, we're kind of finally... Like making this next step. I mean, not like we've got any time to be doing this, but yeah. it's just, I feel like we're so but passionate yeah, about it. It's, 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 you know, it's just been on like my bucket list now for a little while, well, for the last few years, to to look for somewhere else. So this to me, the fact that we're kind of moving so fast on this now and potentially we've got a few places that we really love. It's becoming real. It's becoming real. It's almost feeling like a bit of a bucket list moment. It's been ticked off. And then I can be like, right, I've, you know, I've got this incredible home. So yeah, wish us luck guys. Really, really excited about this. Big news. It's a really, really exciting time for us. It, like I said, it's something that we've been dreaming about for ages, isn't it? Yeah. And we're almost there. <laughs> Alex, we'll just have to wait until we watch this film. I'm like, let's go watch a film. Okay. Oh no, let's tell them all about our news. Okay. Oh no, actually, I need to go take off our makeup. <laughs> You just have to be rather patient with me, bless him. We're also here tomorrow as well because I have a Victor and Ralph event that I am hosting. Like I said in the last vlog, things are a bit crazy right now and um, I'm getting to do some really insane things and one of them is hosting a Victor and Ralph dinner. So yeah, so that is tomorrow night as well. So this is lots to look forward to at the moment. I need to be careful. I just need to be careful right now of my eyebrows. I've had my eyebrows laminated and tinted with HD brows, so I can't touch them for a little bit longer. And I've had my lashes LVL'd. In fact, no, it's a brand new treatment that Nuvo Lashes has launched. I filmed the whole thing, and I'm gonna insert that footage that I filmed when I went and got all this done just after this, because I can't quite manage to fit it in before. So I got that done, so again, I can't get my lashes wet tonight. Yeah, so Butch has gone back on the train, back up to Manchester. And he's just, he's such a good friend of ours. He's an amazing person and he's extremely talented in lighting, photography. So Butch is now a new member of the In The Throw team. <laughs> Ever expanding, always something going on. We're very, very lucky to have him. I'm gonna wash my face, I mean this is, Almost gone. The Zedo cleanser, exfoliating cleanser for normal to oily skin. It's literally, I'm literally squeezing every last morsel out of this cleanser. Come on, come on, there must be some more. I'll love you and leave you guys while I cleanse the rest of my face and I'll see you in the morning. Are we ready for breakfast, Bo? Right, what are you having and what am I having? Would you like the chocolate muffin and I'll have this chocolate croissant? You're gonna get the dog chocolate? <laughs> I'm playing. None of this is for you, unfortunately, Bobo, but you're looking very, very cute sat there in bed. I've got my Avo toast. This looks absolutely heavenly. Perfectly like pureed style avocado. And bread, and we've got croissants, and tea, and coffee. Isn't this great, Bobo? We just had this little IHG mask on Bobo, and it was so cute. <laughs> yeah, quick Avo toast, and I'm gonna have a bath, and then we can get on for the day. Have you seen this? This little um, Spotify barcode. I've just never... I've never scanned one of these before. Oh, no, I've never seen this before. Okay, access camera. Oh, ah, yeah. look at this. The Kimpton Corner Suite by Victoria McGrath. Ah, cool. So it's got Taylor Swift's new album on it, Harry Styles, Alanis Morissette, Lana Del Rey, Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish, Ray Lamontagne. That is so cool. Oh, how great is that? Okay, um, I'm having a bath. This is such a nice little day. We have a few hours until I have makeup and hair and also my dress for the Victor and Rolf event coming over. We're just kind of enjoying all the amenities. So now after breakfast is bath time. Also with the room is this 50 pound spa voucher as well. So you can like book it, someone will come up. It's like a mobile spa. They'll come up and like give you a massage. How good's that? Pretty cool. 50 pound off. Um, is that yeah. a real voucher? Can I use it? I know, I said the same thing, but I want to use it. Look at it! Oh my goodness. This is the dress I wore for the Victor and Rolf advert. And I'm wearing it again for tonight's event. This is so super duper special, like couture, and it's the exact one that I wore. So hopefully it still fits me since February. Let's see how many muffins I've eaten since then. <laughs> Look at it! Yeah, I'm just gonna need some 
<laughs> somehow getting sipped, sipped into this. I'm not too sure where the, the bits are, but... Oh, it fits! It fits. Great! Oh, it fits perfect. need to fix the zip, because the zip is gone. Oh. How does it feel? Does it feel tight? It fits perfect. Yeah, it feels perfect. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at that colour. Decide what you want to do with your hair yet. I think I'm going to have it like half up, half down. So like the top bit's going to have a bit of volume, kind of be up like this mm -hmm. and tied potentially with a bow or maybe not. And it'll be kind of like that. I think it'll be really beautiful. The length. It does. Shoes. You I, I, shoes. Yeah, I've got tall-ish shoes. I don't remember it being this quite this long, but maybe it always was this long. I think it was. Yeah, I mean, because when you had big, you had remember you had um. I had Louboutins. You had Louboutins, and so you were about six foot five. I mean, I mean, I can always carry it as well, a bit. I mean, it is long, but it would need a lot taken off to. Is it just for a photo shoot or? Yeah, know, walk well. Around or... It's for the event, isn't it? Well, it's, well, yeah, so I'm wearing it to the event. I think it'll be okay, you know. I kind of like how big it is and how it drapes. I kind of feel it's part of it. Do as long as you can move and walk. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll be able just to walk around like this, sit down, and then for pictures, you know, I'll just make sure it's all splayed. Yeah. Splayed I'm not doing red carpet. That right. would be different. Yeah. You know, I, I think I think it's perfect. <laughs> so what is it? Is it a party tonight or is it like yeah. a dinner or...? So I'm hosting the Victor and Rolf party for the festive season. That's crazy. Which is a huge deal. How, how huge is this? So yeah, huge. it's just amazing. So Susie's here. And Hi. Susie... <laughs> I don't look anywhere near as glam. I'm <laughs> half glam. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'll have my hair and makeup done. This is Ella and Chris. We'll put their Instagram handles on screen. You don't need Susie's because no one wants to follow Susie. <laughs> and so they've seen enough of me. They're probably like, oh, please get out of the vlog. Oh, shit. I'm playing. I'll go follow Susie. Um, and Susie is also wearing one of the two dresses from advert that the two girls wore. So that's really exciting. So Susie gets to choose which to wear. I'm internally screaming. I can't wait. I'm can't dying. <laughs> Now I understand what you what you are experiencing when yeah. you do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look absolutely goddess like. Oh, it's like a mermaid dress. Yeah, oh, it's so you look beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay, we're on our way finally to the event. We just had a few things we needed to film and take pictures of before we got there, so we're a little bit delayed. But we're ready, and I'm literally stuffed into the car. <laughs> like a little sugar plum fairy. But yeah, we're almost there. I just hope that not that many people have arrived before I get there. Seeing as it is, I am hosting it, I guess. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs>
everybody! Today is a day in London for me. I have lots going on today. I have like four meetings back to back and all really, really exciting, great things. I've just packed up my enormous YSL for the day with like bits of makeup and my kind of day stuff that I need. Just finishing up getting myself ready for the day. I have just air wrapped my hair. I've washed and air wrapped my hair this morning, although it is raining her like horrifically. So I'll be honest, this probably isn't gonna last quite as long as I would hope. At least I tried. I tried to make an effort. I've also just lint rolled this black cardigan. And honestly, me wearing black is very difficult. Not only am I blonde haired, Bo is blonde haired, and therefore anything I wear gets coated in little blonde hairs. It's really annoying. So I have just lint rolled this a couple of times. <sighs> Never mind. I'm finishing this off with my new Fendi belt. It's a little gift from the Fendi team that arrived this week. And it just looks really cool, just wrapped around this. Burberry Cardi and I'm just going to do up the buttons on this so it's like a full vibe. I mean if you watch my TikTok you'll already have seen this on TikTok but I just love this outfit. And then with my Nanushka black faux leather trousers that I've worn a lot already and really really enjoying them. And then again the way that I wore it on TikTok, was it TikTok? Could have been, was with my Dior boot so I've had for years now and I really really love so I'm gonna wear it with that because the trousers fall so nicely over the top of these and just gives a really lovely silhouette. So that is the way I'm wearing it. As you may be able to tell, my makeup isn't finished because I'm on my way to go get an LVL lash lift, a Nuvo lashes, and a HD brows, brow lamination and brow dyeing, brow coloring. So I've left my eyes and my brows undone. I've just done my skin and bronzed and try to make myself feel a little bit more glamorous but yes it's raining really really horribly so I really hope I can manage to get on this train and get to London without ruining everything I've bothered to do this morning so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna go like this and then soon I'll have big beautiful lashes again because they're so drop my lashes this is this is the issue with my lashes they're so straight and then over time they do this so they're really low which is why for the last oh, six, seven years, I've had LVL lash lifts just to open them up. It's like a perm for the lashes and they last for maybe um, maybe six weeks or so, and maybe eight weeks at most, six weeks. So then you've got to keep going, get them topped up, but it's just such a an amazing treatment that I cannot live without. So I'm gonna go see Deb and get that done. Also, today I have just unboxed for the first time. I already, I've had it here for a little while and I haven't air wrapped my hair in a little bit. I've been a little bit obsessed with my corral, but I've just unwrapped the new air wrap in the Vinca Blue and Rose color with the long barrels. I, I might be a Dyson ambassador, but I didn't realize that you can buy now the full set with, and it comes with long barrels rather than having to buy the barrels separately. So this is great. So I've done this with the big 40 mil long barrel. And this is the one now that you turn the top to change the direction. So you don't need two barrels anymore. You just need the one thing, which is gonna be great for me for travel. Just slightly less, I know it's barely much less to take, but it's always good to have one less thing to remember. So I've just done my hair, finished off with the Larry King Social Life for your hair flyaway kit. I just obviously, as, as a blonde, I struggle with um, with a lot of broken broken flyaways. And I especially have quite a lot here at the back of my head. So I just always need to put on some of Larry King's Social Life cream to ensure everything gets stuck down properly. So yeah, this is me for the day, but I'm loving this cardigan. I love this kind of almost tunic feel to it. It really kind of comes over and collects over the body. It's really cozy. I'm just gonna wear this with my brand new Max Mara coat that the team very kindly sent me. I mean, what a dream come true, Max Mara sent me a coat. Um, I'm gonna wear that today. I just feel a bit like a, a lady that's got her shit together, really. Yeah, I've got a couple of meetings today. First up, lash appointment eyebrow appointment. Then I have a really important and very exciting meeting for something that I can't tell you about but is uh, happening behind the scenes. And then I have a meeting with my accountant and then I have a meeting with a company that I've invested in recently. Yeah, so it's just, woof, 
a lot going on. Before I leave, before I leave, I, <laughs> this is getting ridiculous now. I am such a perfume junkie these days. I, I genuinely love all of these. They don't end up here if I don't wear them more than once. So there's a few I'm actually quite obsessed with right now. Where do I even start with? This here has become one of my newest favorite products. The Narcisa Rodriguez scents are so famous. They're like cult favorite. If people know them, they adore them. But this one, Musk Noir, is a massive favorite of mine. It is just deep, rich, musky, but it's just this wonderful like layer of fragrance. It just smells absolutely divine. So I have them like this. You can get them in little mini sets because the idea of Narcisa Rodriguez is that they like to kind of create layers. So you kind of layer one perfume over another and this has become my thing. So this is pure musk with musk noir over top. So pure musk is literally just pure musk. It's musky, it's, it's deep, it's kind of like sensual. You know, it's not, there isn't lots and lots of scent there. It's just this really kind of clean, fresh musk smell. But then you layer it over top with musk noir, which is deep and rich and it's um, quite sexy and again very sensual and kind of more seductive and you lay them together and I, oh, I'm such a fan I love the fact you buy these as a layering set too I think it's really quite special it's a bit more exciting um, in the morning to layer up like that so I do have them also in the large versions which is those two there the new Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever is honestly fantastic I know I went on the trip but this is a fragrance I mean I don't even have the other one because I've already used it up this is the newest one it's got cherry it's got almond like bitter almond in here it has so many notes that just make this uplifting very girly feminine night out vibes the kind of thing you'd want to wear on a, on a night out partying but it's not young it's not young it's it's more youthful but it's not young it definitely is for everybody but it's just a bit more party and fun um, I mean, favourite of all time, if I only had one ever, ever to take with me somewhere, I'd take this one, Armani Privé, Rouge Malachite. I don't even know how to explain this. It is just divine. It's my favourite thing to wear. But at the same time, I'm such a big fan of any of the Armani Privé scents. I've recently become a massive fan of Fleur. I think what Chris Hell has done with Fleur is really quite fun and unique. She's created some really unique and interesting scents. Missing person. When you smell it, it just reminds you of someone. It gives that really cosy, warm feeling of being kind of held and embraced by someone. It's really interesting. I don't know how it works so well, but it's fabulous. And then the recent one she launches, this one, Somebody Would, which is just very like sexy, manly, but again, I mean, feminine, it's got, I think it's got amber notes and sandalwoods and tuberose and vetiver. And it's got some of those in anyway. I'm not too sure exactly, but it's that kind of scent, you know, it's sexy man kind of vibes, but unisex. What else? The Prada. Massive fan of this Prada. This feels like me in a bottle. So many incredible notes in here. I would be shocked if you don't like this, if you ever smell it. And then, of course, Victor and Rolf. Victor and Rolf flower bomb. I've got all of my other flower bombs over on the other side of the room because I have so many of them, like all the limited edition scents. But this is the one I keep over here because it's one of my absolute favourites, actually, the Ruby Orchid version of flower bomb. It's just so wearable. I mean, I bet I've got less than half left in here. In fact, I think this is what I'm going to wear today. I mean, the bottle is so cute. And small. It's got that really recognisable Victor and Rolf flower bomb smell, but it's got these slightly fruitier tones. I can't quite remember now what they've put in this. It, I think it definitely, well, it's obviously got the ruby orchid in there, but it's got these more fruity tones to it. So it just feels a bit more full, slightly less sweet, more day wearable, but equally like you could wear this on like a sexy date night. I also love it comes in a little tiny bottle as well if you do want that. Also, people on TikTok always have a go at me for when I put on my perfume. So they're like, why are you putting on so much perfume? My skin does not hold perfume. No perfume really stays on my skin. It's too dry. I have very dry um, skin. My good friend Rob, Butch, he smells unreal every, every time you ever smell him because his skin just protrudes scent. He always, and he always has the best, like ouds and rich, like Carolina Herrera, he loves True Oud and he loves Santal 33 and those kind of smells. And therefore he always smells absolutely heavenly, heavenly. But he's got that kind of skin, whereas I smell great in the beginning and for a few hours and then I just can't smell it. And no one ever sort of says, oh, I can smell it on you. And I'm like, I just want to be that person that smells amazing all the time because I know I've got good scents on. You know, it just doesn't sink into my skin. Anyway, um, last but not least, 
jewelry. I've still got my little open boxes. I was showing you these, get these the other day on the vlog. These are my new baubles. The inside have my little edge of ember studs in them. And I have those in my ears now. I'm gonna put in my beautiful big gold hoops for the day from my guy collection. But in my ears already, as I showed you the day, I pretty much only wear exclusively my little studs. The 14 karat solid gold stud in the beautiful triangular petal shape. And then next to it is our four topaz stone stud earrings. That's so pretty. And then my little hoops. Right, I need to go. Hey guys, right, it has been a busy, busy day. Thus far, I have got my brows done, HD brows. They are laminated, they are up, and they are now dyed, so tinted. So they're looking far more bold and beautiful now, so I'm so thrilled. And now I'm about to get my lashes done. So this is how my lashes are currently looking. They're down and straight, Deb. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen Deb. I've been so busy and Deb has been busy and therefore it's been a little while So my lashes need some TLC and then I wanted to bring Deb on camera because Nouveau Lashes have just launched a brand new LVL haven't they? We have. It's the LVL Sarah Lash Lift mm -hmm. um, And yeah, it's got it's packed out with sort of new products okay. within the treatment so it's quicker uh, the treatment times have been cut down um, with the lifting balm. So it's eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. It's all vegan, 100% vegan. It rebalances the pH within your lash and it penetrates, the proteins within penetrate into the cortex. So it locks all those sort of hair follicles and it puts all the moisture okay. inside the hair as well out. as outside. So it keeps it lovely and moisturized. Mm -hmm. Beautiful treatment. It's got um, keratin in there. It's got um, ceramides in there. So all that strength, the health of the natural lash. So it nourishes as well. Wow. And everyone sort of says that they can feel their lashes really? are more conditioned. And you can see it. It's almost oh, like you can see it. Oh, well, that's well. great. Because mine are quite dry. And they're just so straight, aren't they? So well, they won't be in about 35, yeah. 40 minutes time. <laughs> <laughs> Finished up. Look at my lashes. I actually have lashes again. <gasps> Look at the difference though, that, I mean the tint for a start, because obviously my lashes are so blonde, so yeah. the tint adds so much to them, and the fact that they're up and curled and defined and perfect. So you guys always ask me all the time, where can you go for LVL, Nouveau Lashes LVL? Just go on the Nouveau Lashes website, and there's a salon finder there, there isn't it? That's the yeah. best way I think, isn't Put it? Put in your postcode guys, and something yeah. will crop up. That is the best way, and then you can find your local place that does Nouveau Lashes LVL. And so. remember it's the Nouveau Lashes LVL, but it's the Sarah Lift. Or a lash Sarah lift. lift. Is that yeah. what it's called? The new one. Yeah. Sarah lift. Yeah. Okay. That's what you need, guys. Sarah lift. This was quicker, wasn't it? It was quicker. They look great too. Thanks, Jeff. You're very welcome.